Hello again, everybody, and welcome to an all-new episode of Road Trip After Hours. I'm your host, Mac Davis, along with my WWE Hall of Famer co-host, and just one hell of a guy, really, Mr. Teddy Long. <laughs> hey, Teddy. <laughs> so you so you had to add that on to it, just one hell of a guy. Well, it's, it's, right it's, 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 it's the damn truth, and you know it. So. <laughs> he's baiting. He, he he's baiting me for something. Okay, I'm telling you, something he's got. I, he needs. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> actually, Teddy and I had a great time. We just got back just a couple of days ago. Actually, I don't know, a few days ago, uh, from River City uh, Wrestling Con, and that Teddy was a fantastic event in a new atmosphere in St. Augustine. One hell of a show, didn't you think? Yeah, River City Wrestling Con, man. That's it's been around for a long time. Uh, last time I think I did anything with them was in uh, 2019, and they were still in that old building there in Jacksonville. That, yeah, it, it, I don't know. I don't really know what that was. Was it a barn or a it was? Something? I think it was a fairground that they were actually okay, on. Fairground. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, that might have been what it was. But they moved to that new location in St. Augustine, right there, and. Uh, Man, everything was beautiful. Hotels, beautiful yes. restaurants. I mean, you know, it, it was top of the line. And the fans really came out and supported it. And they appreciated it, too. Everybody there had a great time. Hey, what's up, players? WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long. And right here with my main man, me and Mac Davis. Yeah, you know where the camera is? You know where the hard cam is? <laughs> Look. <laughs> well, I walked over to Godfather's table earlier, so maybe that's my excuse. Well, we can always keep looking this way, but nobody will see what we're talking about. No. <laughs> hey, we just wanted to uh, say good morning to everybody. He doesn't have a clue what he wants to say. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say good morning to everybody and let them know we're right here for the second and final day of Riverside Wrestling Con, and this has certainly been a great this is weekend. This uh, actually River City Wrestling River Con. River City Wrestling Con. Say it again. Con. River City Wrestling Con. He got it that time. Yeah, right? All right. <laughs> and uh, we just had a great time this weekend. So this is the final day. So we're going to try to close this day out and hope we have a blessed day like we did yesterday. Yes. And we just want to say hello to everybody. And we're going to be coming back later on. We'll be, hopefully we'll have some uh, uh, wrestling superstars to talk to you and say hello to you. But we just want to let everybody know you, we, we are here. And if you're in the Jacks, uh, the... Um, St. Augustine area. Doesn't even know where he is. Yeah, well. Don't go visit Godfather anymore. Well, you mentioned uh, the atmosphere around that place, and it, it made me think about the restaurant we went to, Teddy. It was a, do you recall what the name of that place was? I don't have it off the top of my head. I can't recall. Well, if you ain't got it off the top of your head, I sure don't Yeah, you sure ain't got it. I, 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 I'll put something in here to let you know where, what this place is, so you'll see. It, it was Bistro. Yeah, it, it was a uh, it was a sushi bistro. God, that's awful. I, hang on, I tell you, I can, yeah, I can't find it right now, Teddy. But it but it is. Well, I'll put it up here. But the restaurant there that you'll see actually fantastic food. If you're ever in that area, stop by because Teddy and I not only do we enjoy it, we went back a second time while we were there. It was just that damn good. But they had these little. Uh, it's cream cheese appetizers they were bringing out along with the food. I don't know what was in it. It, but it, it's like crack. You just can't give it up. I and mean, that stuff is really good. And Teddy, what about those fried Oreos? Well, just a minute. I want to know how do you know to relate crack <laughs> to the cream cheese that well, you have? I mean, so it's just, it's, so it's what just you're that good. Now that you you smoke crack? No, no, no. No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying that once you have one, you just can't put them down. I mean, they're really that good. Well, that's another thing says you smoke crack. Once you <laughs> do it, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, yeah, but that, like Mac was saying, uh, it's, that place was great. And I'm a sushi lover, but if anybody know me, they know I love that sushi. And brother, they had some rolls there that I had never even heard of. And they were so good. Then I had the sashimi, you know, I had that. And I, I, that that but that was just outstanding. And if I even go for Jacksonville, I'll drive all the way up there oh. just to eat that food. Oh, you bet. You bet. And Teddy and I were both saying, yeah, if this was around my neighborhood, I'd be eating there every day. I mean, it was just oh, brother, that they, good. Yeah, I'd have my own personal booth there. Yeah, I mean, because this place is not that big. It's, it's a fairly small place, but that place stays packed. They got locals there that know, but a lot of people don't realize that they're there. And they are kind of tucked away, too. We had to go around a few times to find the building. But once we well, found it, we were happy. Yeah, we blame that on ourselves. Don't try to yeah. mix the people up talk <laughs> like they're going to get lost. No, that was on me and you. 
Yeah, that was on Teddy. He's right. He's right. Yeah, right. Me and you. All right, Teddy, I want to talk a little wrestling here. Um, I got a little confused after Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole was talking about the stipulation uh, for this weekend's Clash at the Castle uh, for the Universal Championship uh, between Cody Rhodes, who's the champion, and AJ Styles. And he announced, of course, that it was going to be a I Quit match. Now, Teddy, I've been in an I Quit match. I'm sure you've probably worked with an I Quit match or been around it for sure. And he said this, that the rules were this. You must make it to your feet before the count of 10 or you're counted out. Teddy, that okay. just doesn't equal one on one's not coming to two here. Well, I see what you're saying. I, the, the, supposedly, the finish is that uh, you finally say to the referee, I quit. Yeah, on he a microphone. Yeah. With the microphone, he's holding the microphone right to you. What do you say? What do you say? You quit, you quit you get, and you say it there. Now, I don't understand I, if you you count it out or uh, you don't. I, I I don't know why there's two finishes there. I don't understand that, understand that either. So I don't know. I, yeah, I, I really don't because uh, usually the kind of rules he was giving is for the last man standing match, not for the I quit match. And I didn't know well, if yeah. they change things. What well, do they do? That is the finish to the last man standing match. That's, that's yeah. how that works. Yeah, so I. I mean, I don't know, man. I you know, I'm not maybe there. he just made a mistake. But I, I sat there and I kept thinking, "Who? I need to put the coffee down." You know. <laughs> well, well, I, well, if he made a mistake, it should have been corrected. And that's what I was thinking too. It's like surely somebody is going to say something. Mm-mm. You know, it was just I was. That's the rules. Okay, okay and that's for the well, clash of the champions this weekend. I mean, the clash at the castle this weekend, and uh, that should be a fantastic uh, premium live event to watch over the weekend. That's on Saturday, I believe, in the afternoon. Maybe I can't remember what time it starts, uh, but it's always a lot of fun. So we'll find out, I guess, Teddy, what the I Quit match actually is. Maybe they've changed the rules a little bit for some reason or another. I, I don't well, know. Well, they were. Here's, you keep making trying to help them out. I know. I if you're going to change, stop doing that. If you're going to change the rules, then they would have announced that at the beginning. In this in this match here tonight, the I Quit original rules will not take place. We have changed the rules. Here okay. is how it's going to be. And this is what happens at the end. This is what how it's going to be called. You explain that to the people so they know. Yeah. So there was no explanation there. So that's on them. That's that's. You know, yeah. I mean, like, stop trying to help them, man. They they know they know this stuff. Yeah, and they get paid a lot of money to do it, too. And, right. Yeah, and you don't get paid nothing to keep helping them. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, while we were in Florida, we had a lady who actually stopped by, and she left off a list of names, and she made a suggestion for Father's Day. And I thought, hey, this is kind of cool, Teddy. Let's, let's try this. So what we got is a list. Uh, Teddy hasn't seen this list yet, but the list she gave me is a lot of men who have been in professional wrestling that have family that are in professional wrestling. And we're going to go down that list and just see what Teddy remembers uh, of these people or their sons or whoever maybe in the family any memories there but uh, a lot of the fathers from over the years so here we go first one i know where you'll go with this one uh teddy dusty Rhodes is the first father uh that she get, had on the list yeah great guy man uh god rest his soul dusty Rhodes gave me my first job uh hired me as a referee he's the one who gave me that job and like i said you know dusty uh i've told you a couple of stories about you know how he uh you know kind of showed me you know what I mean? Yeah. Showed me the way. And I didn't even know it when I was when he had me sitting in those production meetings. I'm I'm like, I don't even know why I'm even in here, you know, but I, I, over the years, now nah, I know. Yeah, I got I got a lot of knowledge there and I kept it in my head. I remembered it. Um <clears throat> uh Dusty would just, you know, I met Cody with, with Dusty. They lived uh, real close to me at one time. Mm-hmm. And uh, I used to go to Milford Ballpark where Dusty would uh he was the coach for the softball team there that Cody uh, football team, I believe it was, that Cody was on. And I wouldn't watch Cody play football and I watched Do- uh, Dusty coach the team. So wow. uh happy happy Father's Day to to Dusty Rhodes. All right, the next name on the list that she gave us, and I'm not sure if you'll have anything with this one, Fritz Von Erich. Never met the guy. Yeah, I didn't think you did. Of course, he's uh, the famous Fritz Von Erich, uh, the wrestling family, the Von Erichs. And, uh, so, but, yeah, I, I thought that's kind of a different territory, something that you probably weren't in at that time. But the next one I think you probably do have a little knowledge of, Bob Armstrong. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Bob and I uh, worked together for a great while. He was a real nice guy too, man. Real super nice guy. Uh, got a little bit of knowledge from him, and I was able to establish my a good relation with him, which made me have, have a good relationship with his sons. And Brad, God rest his soul, was the first one. And me and Brad was <laughs> we was really cool. I never forget. Brad gave me a name, and every time he'd see me, he called me Teddy Jam. Jam and that, that, <laughs> and that he's always saying that to me, man. So Brad Scott, uh, Road Dog, uh, Stevie, all of them, man. You know, yeah. I got along with each and every one of them, man. What a great family! And happy Father's Day to Bob Armstrong. Now, the next name on our list, we actually ran into at the elevator just a few days ago, and that is Jerry Lawler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lola, another great guy. I had a chance to, you know, work with him doing stuff when I was doing the White Boy Challenge. And uh, Lola was another guy that uh, we always sit down, me and him, and had conversations and talked. And so I always got along with him. I never had any problems with Lola, no whatsoever. And he always came up to me and spoke to me and talked to me and everything. So it's just good to see that uh, he's recovering, you know, from uh, the strokes or whatever he's had because he, he's he, he's a great guy. So. Uh, yeah. Like I say, man, you know, you guys, uh, God bless you, man. You got to take care of yourselves, you know, and you got to get in, change that diet, get in that gym and see about yourself, man. I'm I'm, I'm dedicated. I haven't been to the gym in three days. I'm about to lose my mind. Have and the only reason I haven't been there is because <clears throat> I've been just, I've been running and, you know, I'm moving and I had so much stuff to do, but tomorrow morning I will kick it in. And then I didn't get a chance to go when we were in Jacksonville because I took those days off to work and but because I went every day before we got there. But you got to get in there, man. Train, change that diet, get your health right. You know, I mean, we all going to go. You know, we okay. got to worry about that when our, when our time's up or we're going to get that call. But see, on my phone, I cut my phone off. <laughs> I hear you. And, and you know, I got to say this, too. Uh, Jerry did look good. I, he was moving around yes. and, and, and probably the best I have seen him in a long time. Even even from, uh, I guess it was, uh, was it, I can't remember what last show we saw him at. I, it, anyhow, within the last six months to a year. And he looks so much better, even from that. So he's recovering. He's doing well and uh, but, still just as nice as can be. He might have just needed the rest. Yeah, yeah. Well, who doesn't? Sometimes you can need, like right now, I need the rest. Yes. <laughs> All right. The next name on here, I'm curious. Rocky Johnson. Did you ever? Uh, yeah, yeah. I had a chance to, to talk with Rocky. You know, he was he, <laughs> he was he was a great guy. He was funny all the time, man. But he'd always come up and talk to me. Me and him always had great conversations, man. I like Rocky, man. Great guy. Yeah, yeah, would you were you surprised to see that his son, The Rock, became so huge? Uh, not surprised because I was there and watched him work his way up. You know, yeah. he deserved everything he got. He he yeah. put it. He did that to himself. He put himself there. So uh, so no surprise when you watch a guy start from the bottom and go all the way to the top, and you're sitting there watching it. You just look at him and you thank him, you know, for taking time, you know, and putting some interest in his own self and getting out there and getting over. And like I said, he just got it in his genes and in his blood anyway. So it was gonna happen. And you you talk about uh, people getting out there and getting over. Uh, let's talk about uh, real quickly over the weekend. Matt Cardona uh, was at River City Wrestling Con, and you had a chance to go over there and see him. And and you were the minute you saw him come over there, you wanted to break away from that table and go say something to him. And I'm glad you did because it was something that needed to be said. Well, I, <clears throat> I you know I, I worked with Matt uh, a long time and on SmackDown. One time I think he's my assistant uh, on SmackDown. And Matt was, you know, what man, this this is a super nice guy. Okay, you couldn't he never I never heard him say a cuss word. I never heard him argue back at nobody. I don't even think I ever seen Matt even mad at anybody. And anytime you talk to him, he always had a smile, had a great conversation, man. And anything that they asked him to do, he didn't squawk or nothing. He did he did his job. And just for some reason, you know, there's some people just don't didn't like it. Yeah. Why I don't know, but that's the wrestling business. It's Imagine more that. probably more didn't like me than they liked him. But I understand it's the wrestling yeah. business, you know. Yeah. But Matt did a, did showed him that what a real man would do. See, he didn't get out and go bitch. He went out and took care of his his own self. He yeah. got himself over it. He went out. He's like a one man one man band, and he done a great job. He Matt Cardona 
had a line just as long as yes. the hardest. And here's yes. a guy that on no major, no WWE, AEW, none of that TV. And I don't understand. Well, you know, I don't know why they won't call him. Maybe they have called him. But if I, him, he don't really need them. No, you know no, what I mean. He, that's the thing you and I were talking about too. I mean, why, why go on the road as many days as you have to under the contract of WWE to make X amount of money when you can make that much or more working less dates and being your own boss? He just, uh, that's what I'm saying. He ain't on the contract. You know what I mean. He ain't a slave. No. <laughs> yeah, and, and and so if you want to know more about Matt Cardona, I'll give you a big hint. Next week on this program, Matt Cardona will be with us. Uh, he confirmed that this afternoon just before we went on air. So, Teddy, we will have a special guest, Matt Cardona, oh, okay. next week. Oh, all right. Well, see, you didn't tell me. I guess you wanted to surprise. I wanted to surprise you. Yeah. All right, well, here's a name. I, and here, here's another well, father. No, 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 no. Let me give okay. you props. Because that's the yeah. best thing that you've done. You know, well, since you. I've had a, well, let's see. In the last three days, that's the best <laughs> thing that you've done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Here's another father's name that I'm going to throw out there. We have a few more minutes. Stu Hart. Did you ever work with Stu? No, um, I don't even really believe I met him. I think we were in Toronto somewhere out in Canada, and I believe he came by one of the shows or something. I think it was, but I never did really get a chance to meet Stu. But I'd have liked to meet him because I heard you know a lot of great stories about him and how he'd stretch you and oh, yeah. get you in that dungeon. And <laughs> they were great stories, so I would have liked to meet him. All right, here's another name, Vern Gagne. Well, let's say Happy Father's Day to him. Okay, oh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, Vern Gagne is your next name. Well, Vern, I had a chance to work with him, and I met Vern. In fact, I saw him. Uh, I bet he was at the uh, con, wasn't he? Uh, that, that was Greg. Him? That was Greg Gagne, his son. Yeah, Vern's not oh, with okay, us anymore. Okay, yeah, Greg, Vern. Okay. Well, no, no, Vern was a father. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never did work with him. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. I but threw it out there. Here's another one I'm not sure about. Angelo Poffo. That's you know, Randy Savage's uh, father. Yeah, and, I know. Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, I know who he is now. Yeah, I never, never worked with him, never met him either. But I, happy I, Father's I, Day to him. And, and happy I, Father's Day to Vern. And let's see, Jerry Jarrett is your next name. Never met him. Ne never worked, but you did work, uh, I would imagine, with Jeff at some point or another, didn't you, in WCW? I worked you? in WCW and WWF with Jeff. Yeah. Is, is Jeff as creative as he appears to be? He looks like he's just, he, it's more than just wrestling with him. He's storylines, everything else. He wants to get in at all. Well, I don't know. I, when I worked with him, he was just in ring. Just in I didn't never. He wasn't back with the agents uh, doing none of the none of, not that I know of. Yeah. You know, so, so I don't. Only thing I know is you know is work in the ring. All right. Uh, let's see the next name on here. And uh, Happy we, Father's Day to Jeff, though. Um, yes, Happy Father's Day. And here's the next name on here. Uh, he is the father of Randy Orton. We just saw him recently, Bob Orton Jr. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, I, I know you know Bob. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I, 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 I never forget, man. Well, I think it was in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm not sure where. It was. Anyway, we went to uh, we went to this uh, restaurant. Guy Lee, man, they have, they've been around for a long time too. I just can't think of the name of it. But anyway, we sat there and we finished. No, we didn't even go to the restaurant. We went somewhere and we stopped and we started smoking. No, we went back to the hotel, I remember now. We went back to the hotel, so we started, you know, got our smoke on and everything. So now we're hungry, so we're getting ready to go to a restaurant. Instead of us going somewhere nice, you know, getting some food to eat, <laughs> we end up going to White Castle. That night at White Castle, I ended up eating 10 White Castles. <laughs> the next, by, by, I mean, we, 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 we high, man. The <laughs> next, <laughs> The next morning, I got to go to Philadelphia to do a signing, me, Ron, and Butch with Joe Goodhart. I think that's Joe's name. I remember he passed, but he was a, one of the promoters there. I was so sick. It was unbelievable. Uh -huh. I puked all day long. The morning. Oh, yeah. man. Hey, yeah, we used to I, brother, I was miserable. So I said, I'll never do that again. Yeah, down where I lived, uh, we had Crystal. We didn't have White Castle around. And we would go out after party and during the night and it was one of the few places still open late at night so we drove through the drive through and you get a sack full of crystals you know and you would just chunk oh. them down the next day we caught them belly bombs 
because you felt like you were going to blow up at one point and they just filled you up so much. If you keep eating them, you will blow up. Yes, you will. All right, that's <laughs> it. We got time for just a few more names. I'm going to pick a few out. Well, here. happy birthday to Bob Harden, too, man. I love him. Man. We're so happy to get a chance to talk to him and watch him get his induction into that Hall of Fame, man. So good for him and another happy Father's Day. <laughs> the <laughs> assassin. The assassin. I know you worked with him. I didn't work with him, but I had a chance to meet Jody all during the, the, the years uh, when I first was breaking in. I worked with him for his, when he, he wasn't wrestling then, he was uh, behind the scenes with WCW. So I worked with him there, and uh, then I went down to Deep South when he was around, and I had, you know worked with him and Nick Patrick when they first got Deep South started. So Jody was always a great guy. Jody uh, saved me one time. I remember, I remember I told you about the story about uh, – what happened with, between me, Paul Ellerin, and Ole Anderson. So I just had had it. I wasn't taking it no more. And so oh, I, yeah. I was going to leave. And so I went to Jody and Jody stopped me and, uh, you know, talked to him and explained to me, you know, you know, just how it was and told me, don't, don't, don't let it, don't let that do, don't, don't let it get you. He said, you, you got a future. He said, I'm just telling you. And so I, that's the only reason I didn't leave that night, but I, I'd had enough. Can you imagine if you left that night, Teddy? It, 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 your career could have been totally different than where you are right now. I mean, well, I don't look at it like that. I look at it like whatever happened that night is the way God wanted it. Correct. Happen. Yeah, that, that's that's exactly it. That, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, we're out of time. This has been a Father's Day uh, special here. And, and Teddy, I know you're a father. I'm a father. And uh, I'm looking forward to a quiet day. I don't know about you. <laughs> I, 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 all my kids are grown. Yeah, all mine grown too. It might, it's funny because my wife, she as soon as I came home uh, this past weekend, she says, "Now you realize that Father's Day is next weekend." And I said, "Yeah, yeah." She said, "So you know, uh, what all do you want to cook?" And with the kids coming over, and I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute." This is Father's Day. This is not Mother's Day. I didn't say I wanted all the kids to come over here so I could feed them and be around them all day. I love my kids. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but there's time, and Father's Day usually is a time that I like just kind of enjoy by myself. Well, like I said, uh, my son, Antoine, my daughter, Jam, they don't really care about hanging out with me. You know, they got their own thing yeah. going on. So, and that's good for me because, like I said, I've already I've moved up in my in, a, in my own spot now, just me and um, Rufus. And so, yeah. Rufus is uh, going to have a great Father's Day because I'm going to be his father. Yep, yep, yep. And that's that's the best way to do it. Enjoy it with just two people <laughs> <laughs> and one that won't say a word to you the whole time. And I'm and and Whole Foods, where the good food is, is right down the street. So I'm going to slide down there and I'm going to get me and Rufus a nice meal and come home and we're going to sit down and look at some TV and have ourselves a ball. Drop the hey. balloon. I hear you, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're out of here. By the way, if you're a father and you're watching or listening right now, happy Father's Day. Hope you enjoy your weekend. And, we and, see way, you. and, before, and before we get out of here, too, man, let's, let me say happy Father's Day to Mark Henry and also a happy birthday. OK, so yes, Mark Henry's yes. birthday. So let's say happy birthday to you, player. Yeah, I sent him a message just a little while ago saying the same thing. Happy why, birthday. Why didn't you mention it on the show? Well, because I just figured it was a message from me to him, not from me across the, you know. But I sent him a message also, but I still <laughs> talk about it. You, you, you know what we do with Teddy sometimes? I can't do it. I was going to try to mute you. I can't mute you. That's just not fair. I fixed it so you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you again next week. Don't forget, Matt Cardona will be our special guest next week, and uh, we look forward to that. Teddy, I enjoyed it, my friend. Hey, man, I enjoyed every minute of it. I, I know I won't talk to you no more, too. And happy Father's Day to you. And for you people that don't know who Matt Cardona is, Zach Ryder. So let us, yes. let, you, let, us let you know what's going on. So he'll be with us next Wednesday right here on Road Trip After Hours. We'll see you then.